In today's video, we're gonna show you what the difference is between a soft start kit and a hard start kit. Uh, many people do not know the differences between the two, and we're gonna clear up some misconceptions on if you can run both of these on your system and just how they function in general. Our AC systems consume more power at startup than any other appliance in our home. So it's good to think about ways that we can lower the amp draw of our unit at startup and look for ways that we can make our unit last longer. Now let's start with the hard start kit. A hard start kit is basically like giving your air conditioner an extra boost of current or energy to get the compressor running and to keep it going. Now, as soon as it gives it that initial burst of energy, what happens is there's a relay on both of these that tells the capacitor, okay, we'll stop giving it that initial current and then we'll start to store energy. So for this one, it's up at the top here. And for this one, as you can see, it's like a separate piece. So the whole idea behind a hard start kit is kind of in the name. Um, if a compressor was having a hard time starting and it just didn't want to go, this is initially what the hard start kit was used for. Now I can speak personally in saying um, several units, old R22 systems where the compressor just didn't want to start. We installed these several years ago and some of those units are still running to this day. So these are a great thing to have if you have an old system and you want to elongate the life of that system. And that way you're not blindsided in having to replace your air conditioner. I've had a lot of people ask me this question. You cannot use a hard start kit and a soft start kit on your system. They just simply will not work together. You have to pick one or the other. The other thing I get asked a lot is, can I install a hard start kit on my mini split? And the answer is no, because your mini split already has a variable speed compressor that slowly ramps up. Whereas most residential compressors do not have a variable speed compressor and these can be used for that. Now a soft start on the other hand is a completely different animal. The idea behind this is that we are slowly starting the compressor and throttling the current that goes to the compressor until it's fully started. So the advantage to the soft start is that it can lower the inrush amps of your compressor by 65 to 75 percent. Now that's a huge decrease in inrush amps when we think of how many times our AC unit starts. On average they start about 6,000 times per season. Now both of these have their own advantages and the biggest difference between the two is going to be price point. For a very basic hard start kit you can get for about $10. Some of the more fancy ones can be upwards of $75 to $100. Whereas the soft start kits typically are about $350 to $400. So they're quite a jump in price, but there are a lot of cool features that the soft start kits have. Now, one of those is Bluetooth capability. So you can install this on your AC system and you can use this as a surge protector. You can use it as a diagnostic tool. It will tell you if your unit is short cycling, if the compressor is pulling too many amps, if there's other issues, this can be a great tool for that. Now, another huge advantage to having a soft start kit is if you have either an air conditioner or a heat pump, you can actually run your system with a generator. And typically when you think about a generator running your air conditioner, you would need to have like a 9,000 watt generator to run such a big item. But with my air conditioner, I can actually use this easy start and I can run my system with a 31 watt generator, which is super impressive. Now you can't say the same thing about that with the hard start kit, but again, these have advantages and these have advantages as well. Another thing that's great about these soft start kits is that they are proven to make your air conditioner a little bit quieter. They don't have that initial jolt of energy when your air conditioner starts. So that's something to take into consideration as well. Now, if you're interested to get my take on both of these components, soft start kit versus hard start kit, here it is. If you don't have any interest in running your air conditioner or heat pump with a generator or have any means to get power to your home, then I don't recommend a soft start kit. I say just go with a hard start. And in either scenario, whatever of these you choose, you will be happy with either option. I highly recommend both. 
Um, on my personal home, I'm running a soft starter as you've probably seen in my previous videos. And I am going to be using that to run a generator to power my heat pump in the future. Now, for those of you wondering, this is the ICM 870. As you can see, it's a very much uh, smaller unit than the Micro Air. It still has fault detection. And in a future video, I'm gonna show you how to install this unit as well. So make sure and stay tuned for that. Now, if you're looking into putting a soft start on your system, you're probably interested in how do we get the power to the home and to the AC unit so that we can really utilize that soft start kit. If so, check out this video right here and we're gonna show you how to install a power inlet box so you can plug in your generator and we're gonna show you how to install an interlock kit so that you can't run grid power and generator power simultaneously. Until next time, you guys be safe. Later.